So hi and welcome to part 7 in the remix of the How to Make Your Own um, Social Network series. So today we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to make the register form work by actually registering users. So um, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open a PHP block up here. Uh, we could just use the same one but I'm just going to open a new one um, for simplicity. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paste in this, uh, well I'm going to paste it in to make the video quicker. So the first thing we're doing is we're declaring a variable called reg, we're um, assigning it equal to the post of, to um, like post of, uh, where is it, uh, this, so we want to set this actually to reg, so we're getting the, so this basically means whenever this is posted, so whenever reg is posted, whenever the uh, form is submitted, uh, we assign the uh, form like the data from the form equal or equal to the reg variable. Uh, this at sign just means that um, whenever the, for example, if I was to echo or I mean, if I was to echo reg now before um, before the form is submitted, we would get an undefined variable error. But now if we use the at sign, it uh, gets rid of the error. And then these are just uh, variables. Uh, specifying the uh, just different fields so FN we're just actually we haven't even specified the fields yet we're just declaring them uh, so that we don't get any undeclared variable errors so now we're just gonna paste in this and I actually left out one there's actually you check which checks if the username exists which is also just defining the variable now or declaring the variable um, before we need it so that way we don't get any errors when we want to use it now we're do what we're doing here is we're assigning the variables equal to um, um, we're assigning the variables equal to the field name. So, for example, this is f name, and if we go down here, it corresponds to here, which is also f name. So these all correspond to each other, and this is just uh, posting the data and storing it in a variable. So whatever I put in the uh, in the uh, f name field, which is first name, so whatever I type in here uh, will be stored in the f name or the fn variable whenever the form is submitted. The strip tags just strips hit or uh, HTML tags and things, so that way uh, it's just a form of security to prevent uh, SQL injection into the database. There's a lot more we could do, but that's just a very simple uh, method of security. The other at signs are also just to prevent um, undeclared variable errors uh, because there's no uh, because these are already being assigned uh, regardless of whether the form has been submitted. So we want to surround them in, or we want to put an at sign in front of them. The date or the uh, D variable was declared up here as well, but it's not getting any data from the form. The D variable is just equal to the date function, uh, and then uh, it says year, month, day, which just means this is just the format at which the date will be uh, sort of stored. So it gets the date from the server, stores it in this format, whatever format we uh, tell it to in here, and it stores it in the D variable. So here's some more code that we just pasted in. So what we're saying now is if reg, which means if the form is submitted, we want to run all the code in here. So what we're saying is if email if email one equals email two, which means the two emails are equal, which the point of that is just to make sure someone doesn't type their email in wrong, we check twice. So we're checking if the emails are the same, which means the user hasn't typed it in wrong. Then what we're going to do is we're going to check if the user already exists in the database. So what we're doing is we're saying select username from users where username equals un, which is the variable that is uh, gets the variable that stores the uh, username. So for example, if I was to put in Francis into here and I click to sign up, it would store Francis in the uh, un variable. And then what it would say is select username from users where username equals Francis. And then what it would say is if the, the number of rows returned doesn't equal zero or equals zero, then that means we can sign up the user if the if the uh, number of rows returned doesn't equal zero means there's already one in the database called Francis so there's already a username in the database or a user whose username is, is Francis in the database so we don't want to sign up two users with the same username so we tell them they can't sign up so then that's what this says. that's what this does this says check equals equals zero so uh, what check is equal to is the mask num rows of this query so if this query equals zero rows which means the user uh, username isn't taken then we want to uh, sign the user up. Then what we want to do is we want to check if all the fields have been filled in, which is all uh, these fields here. So we're checking if first name and last name, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, aren't uh, zero. So it means if they're not uh, null, 
Then we want to say, we also want to, or after we've checked whether they're null, so it means that they have been filled in, we want to check if the two passwords are the same. If the passwords are the same, we want to do another check, which checks the maximum length of the username, first name, and the last name to make sure it doesn't exceed 25 characters. So that's what the strlen function does. It just checks if the uh, the length of the string is, uh, well, it just basically finds out the length of the string. And what we're saying is if the length of the string is greater than 25 characters in any of these uh, three fields, we want to echo um, maximum uh, limit for username, first name, or last name is 25 characters. And we don't want to send the user up until they fix that error. Okay, and then what we want to say is else. So if the um, username or the first name or the last name is less than 25 characters, we want to check the ma maximum length of the password does not exceed 25 characters and it's not less than 5 characters. So if it is either more than or less than, or if it's more than 25 characters or less than 5 characters, we want to stop the user from signing up and tell them that their password is uh, too short or too long. And then if the uh, password's okay, the username's okay, we want to encrypt the password with MD5. Uh, and then what we want to say is um, insert the user into the database. So we want to insert, or we want to say MySQL query equals insert into users, the values, and then the first one's blank because it's ID, and the ID is auto incremented, so we leave that blank because it automatically goes up by one every time the user uh, registers. The second one's username, first name, last name, uh, email, password, date they signed up, and active. Uh, and these all have to correspond to the or to the fields in the database, like so. Um, they all have to be in the same order as the fields in the database. And then what, what these, uh, well, these are just uh, sort of the extra checks. So uh, up here, we're checking if the passwords match. And then down here, we're saying if the, pa uh, we're just finishing off the query. So basically what we're saying is if the passwords match, do all this. Uh, and then if the passwords don't match, uh, tell them they don't match and then stop them signing up. And that's the same for all of these. If the, uh, they don't fill in all the fields, tell them that. If their username's taken, tell them that. If the emails don't match, tell them that. So let's try and sign up now with all this code uh, already in. So let's just refresh. So I'm going to try and sign up. So Francis Mac for me. Uh, my username is Francis. Whoops. Francis at Heiko.org. Uh, Heiko.org. I uh, just said password for my password. And I'll click sign up. Okay, so it says please fill in all of the fields. So we've got a problem. Um, So basically what's happening is one of the, it says one of the fields isn't filled in. So the problem for that is probably uh, there we have password. Both of these fields are called password. So we need to set that one equal to password two, or we want to uh, give the field a name of password two. So that way um, uh, the fields will, so that way it uh, thinks all the fields will be filled in. So I'm just going to refresh and resend the data and what should happen. Let's just, Try it again actually. Let's just type in password and let's hit sign up. And it says, Welcome to find friends. Uh, we click on browse and we have one user in our database. Their sign up dates recorded, their passwords recorded, their emails recorded, and everything about them is recorded uh, as we'd expect. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.